celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody! Hello! How are you? It's Alex. I I didn't get my hat, and that's why I wasn't singing much of the song tonight. But I know how much you wait for me to sing that damn song, okay? Uh, but we got uh, we got a guest tonight. We got a video guest tonight. So let's check in on him, ladies and gentlemen. That man scratching his head. I guess. That it, is that because you're itching or because you're just uh, weary with the world? Will Durst, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? I'm good, okay. Good. Yeah. Well, oh, what's what's that big monster that's covering uh, that, you? Uh, uh, that's Madeline, who has decided to jump into the fray. Uh, Madeline? So say hello, Madeline. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Said hello. Boy, you got them all in show business, don't you? <laughs> Eloise and Madeline. Yeah, both. yeah. So uh, you just got back. You went to uh, Hawaii, right? Let me, uh, we were on the big island for 10 days, and it's hard getting back into the flow of things. It's uh, yeah. I just want to sit by the pool and read mystery novels, which right. is what we do when we go to Hawaii. We're not the the adventuresome type anymore we used to be we used to rappel down the inside of active volcanoes but not so much okay you did rappel down active volcanoes yeah, yeah, yeah. now you go to hawaii all the time we do on the west coast uh it's only a four and a half hour flight it's a little different for you guys that's yeah. why you go to the bahamas and florida <laughs> and shit like that <laughs> no we don't actually hey listen do me a favor just so we get your face a little more in the center just uh, move it uh, uh that and then uh give me a little more head uh there lower the camera Let's see yeah there we go ah that looks good okay huh. all right we do all this while we're doing an interview. Big deal. Anyway. It's, it's part of the process. I, 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 I've never gone to Bermuda. I've never. Really? You know. No. Uh, no. My, uh, my, my wife has, uh, but I haven't. Miss Marjorie? Yeah. She went once to, I think, maybe it was Bermuda or whatever, and I didn't go with her because I didn't want to go. I don't know. You, you're if not I, a beach guy. Well, from where I am here, where I go is to uh europe uh, you know right uh, so yeah whatever so and let me also tell people watching that you're a little out of sync today but that's the situation with uh with uh, uh what do you call it uh skype that that, that, that made up word yeah it, it's just yeah. very slight so it's nothing that they can they're bothered by so listen uh uh, uh mr durst uh, a lot of political things happening you know, uh, the uh, the shutdown of the government being the major one continues. Day thirty one. Can you, can you day, believe day. it? I mean, the the reasoning behind it. It's a temper tantrum. Well, yeah, they <clears throat> they had a deal, yeah. and uh, they were about to, uh, and Trump was going to sign it. He announced every intention of signing it, and then. Uh, What's her name? Laura Ingram? No. Oh. Laura Flint? No. Some what, one of the one of the Lauras. Yeah, yeah one of the Lauras uh, went on television on Fox News and said, he, he, "You can't sign this. You, you got to get your wall." And so apparently, America's being run by Fox News. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's terrible. And and here are people, uh, literally. You know, it, it, he doesn't know what it's like. Well, he probably does, but he, he to live from paycheck to paycheck. He doesn't know. I mean, he's been probably broke, completely broke. But there was a there was money there for him, you know. He was spending it like he had it. Yeah, yeah, spending it like he had it. And when you're like he is, you can get the money you need to keep going. These are just average people who live from paycheck to paycheck, and you can't even blame them for that because today that's about all most people can do. 
especially in New York and uh, and San Francisco. And he has no sympathy for that. He throws this temper tantrum that puts them in this horrible, untenable position, and then he's boxed himself into a corner where he can't get out of it. And he said Mexico was going to pay for the wall. Well, we know that. And, of course, I like what Vicente Fox, we're not paying for your fucking wall. Uh, you know, so, I mean, it, it just, it just, it's such a clusterfuck. And, uh, I, I, I never thought America would get this bad. Okay. Well, it could get worse. It could get a great deal worse. And I am worried because, you know, you, you, you don't, you don't run a country by ego. You run it because you say, okay, well, I got to give up on this because these people got to get paid. But he doesn't have that in his DNA. He doesn't know what it's like to live from paycheck to paycheck. So he has no, no sympathy for it. He doesn't, he doesn't know what it's like to not eat, to have to choose between transportation or insurance or food. Or medicine. Or medicine. No, yeah, more important, medicine. You know. Um, and it's, these, uh, it's not funny. And Rudy Giuliani, even though he's a clown, uh, you know, putting Rudy Giuliani on your legal team is like throwing a hippopotamus on your on your trapeze squad. <laughs> he he, I know he's supposed to be the designated shit stirrer. He's just there to confuse stuff, you know, and I and I know that. And he's he ends up confusing himself. It's it's I I, I don't understand his purpose. No, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense, and uh, uh, it, but it, it, nothing's going to make sense with this guy because this guy is not like anybody else who's ever sat in that office. No. He feels no sense of national purpose, no sense or responsibility, or no no sense of being the steward, right? You know, of the ship. That other uh, people are you know depending on him exactly, and it's it's getting absolutely maddening because it isn't right. And then, you, as you say, Giuliani, I mean, what's with him? My God, he changes his story from day to day to day to day. He changes his story mid-interview. <laughs> yeah. Well, I always thought he was a sleazebag, and they were calling him America's mayor because when 9-11 happened, he did do a good job of putting himself out front of it, okay, and telling people what was going on and so on. I got to give him that. But beyond that, he's a piece of shit, you know. I mean, I know somebody that um, was having a relationship with one of his former partners, uh, the former police chief of New York. What's it? What was his name? Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember now, but he was he was his business partner. He was the guy who was up for Department of Homeland Security and then had to drop out. That guy and one that wound up in prison. Yeah, he had to do a little prison time. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name now, but I know somebody who had a relationship with him, and I said, were those two crooked? He said, as the, as the day is long. Wow. You know, that Rudy Giuliani is an absolute fucking crook. You know, so. And so well, um, you can see why he gravitates towards uh, towards Trump then. I guess, you know. I mean, and... and uh, it, what I, what I loved, I thought about it the other day, you know, uh, what's his name, uh, Cone, the, uh, the, the lawyer. Oh, no, yeah. the other lawyer, Cone, um, uh, Roy Cohn, who I, oh, Roy. who I once had a face-to-face -face debate with, and it was the scariest thing I've ever done because those eyes were like sharks. You know, there was no life in his eyes. I knew somebody said something once that I had already said to somebody else after meeting Roy Cohn. I said... If I ever met the devil, I think he would look like Roy Cohn. Oh, wow. You know, and um, uh, all of a sudden he's got another lawyer named Cohn. What, he can't get away from the Cones? <laughs> you know, uh, but. Uh, yeah, that was his mentor. Oh, that, that was the guy who told him never to apologize and keep going forward. Yep, yep, yep. Keep attacking, yeah. Yep, yep, his mentor, he uh, finally died of AIDS even though he. It, it, it vehemently stated he was never gay, <laughs> you know. Well, that was the time too. That was I the mean, time too. But but uh, but Cohn was a was a in the closet gay guy. They did Angel the movie. They play Angels in America, which was later a thing on HBO. Is all about Roy Cohn and him dying of AIDS. 
and he was just the most vile human being alive. So anybody who would use him as a mentor has got to be the second most vile person alive. <laughs> a carbon copy of the devil, yeah. Yeah. Now, you said you did a show last night with Willie Brown, and I was talking about Willie Brown last night because we were talking about Kamala Harris. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they did they have a relationship, or they she was... Yes, yeah, yes, they, they dated. They dated. Is that the term? They dated. Yeah, they dated. Uh, and uh, the national press has kind of uh, uh, wandered around the question, well, did you, know, did you guys actually do it? And uh, nobody's been, nobody's actually asked the question. Did did the two of you, uh, you know, uh, But they, uh, Willie Willie's answer was uh, uh, she was very smart. She dumped me early. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. We did a show last night, part of Sketchfest here in San Francisco. Uh, Sketchfest is a, a two and a half week kind of extravaganza. I mean, incredible names. Uh, it started out just as sketch groups, and then it expanded, and now it's all sorts of. I think they put on maybe 120 shows over the the 16 days. And uh, last night, one of our shows was uh, Trump Year Three, because we did it. Uh, this is the third year in a row we did it. And normally we have uh, uh, a woman named Francesca Fiorentini, very mm -hmm. funny, very young. Nato Green, a uh, local uh, lefty comic. Uh, we had Johnny couldn't make it because his mom died a couple days ago. Uh, so we had Arthur Gauss and then this guy named Eddie Pepitone uh, was on the show. So we all did stand up. We all did like 10 minutes of stand up. Boom, 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 boom. And then we did a round table. Uh, you know, audience could ask questions. And Willie Brown was in the audience. Mm. And Willie Brown <clears throat> had one of the best lines of the night. He said, I'm going to be 85 years old on March 20th. And my goal in life is to do Trump's eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> Always a character. Uh, yeah, so, it, so what is what is uh, what is the nine one one? Is I guess that's the term we use um, on on Kamala Harris because I saw her and I said, you know, not bad. You know, uh, yeah, she's smart. She's a, a, a black a female politician. Well, I tell you what I see about her is that she is the perfect candidate for president. Here's why: number one, black. Okay. This can time, get out the this, crowd this, like uh, Obama did. Yeah, and nobody knows about her. You know, and I think that's an advantage because nobody has preconceived notions. Like, I'm there's no way I'm voting for Kirsten Gillibrand. I'm sorry. No, that, no, may I ever. say it? May I say it this way? Nothing. No. That that cunt will not get my vote. All right. Okay, you might be a little more adamant than I am. Yeah, yeah, Just because because bit. of that whole Al Franken thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and in the beginning, you know, I was never a big fan of Al Franken's, but somehow he became the most left-wing guy in Congress. One of the most effective members of the Democratic Senate. Yes, and she ate her own. Why? Because she knew she was going to run for president down the line, and this was her time to get in there for the time. It, uh, time's up, or the you know, me right. too, or hashtag me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I can't go for the, her, and I can't go with uh, Pocahontas. Uh, you know, because I think she's just lost it completely. But then I see Kamala Harris come on the scene, well spoken, tough. You know, she was a, a prosecutor. Yeah. So I mean, what's your what's your opinion of Kamala Harris? Is, is Attorney she, General? She was uh, the AG. I think the AG of San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, uh, she, yeah. yeah. She was the city attorney or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The DA. DA. So uh, you know, I mean, I watched her and I said, not bad. You know. Of all the people that have suddenly said, I'm going to run for president, you know, because they got so many Democrats now and there isn't a single one there that's worthy of anything. I mean, uh, 
If Biden decides to run, I wouldn't go for him either. Not that I don't like Biden. I just think, and I can say this at 79, he's too old. You know, and I. He's five years younger than you. He could take. Oh, four. Is he? Yeah. Six. Yeah. He, Six. He, he, I think he'll be 74 in 2020. Yeah. He could take Trump to the woodshed, though. He's the kind of guy that won't, wouldn't put up with any nonsense from Trump. Um, well, Trump has problems this time is that he can't promise shit because we've seen him. You know, he said, oh, I'm going to get you better, better health care, cheaper. And, and people went, yeah, OK. And now they realize, oh, no, he can't do it. Uh, and so he's got that problem where he can't promise any anything. You yeah. know, he could promise anything. He, and he did in 2016. He just made shit up and said, I'm gonna, and people said, yeah, he can do it because he's an independent. And he's a, and now they realize, oh, no, he can't do it. And he just said shit. And, and so he's he's not going to have that luxury. And that's, you know, well, at least you know, I, I, I have a Trump fan on my show all the time. And he says, well, Trump has kept all his promises. And I said, that's the terrible part about it, because those promises were pulled out of his ass, you know, and they really didn't have any reality in them. You know, there was somebody, this is a great quote you, we, I, that I'm going to start using, actually, because there was a guy on I don't know, MSNBC, I don't know who he is, so I'm not, I can't give him credit for it, but when they talked about the wall, he said, the technology of using a wall is right up there with moats and alligators. <laughs> and it's true. A wall yeah. is perhaps the least effective method you could come up with for border security. You know, drones, uh, uh, electronics, things like that, much better. Uh, I saw something, um, and I, I, I like you, I don't know where I saw it, but it's a fourth century answer to a 21st century problem. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've been to the Great Wall of China. They were doing it back then, all right? And theirs was much better. <laughs> you know, theirs went how many miles? And stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that thing is still standing, I might add. You know, I mean, some places it's fallen apart, but it, still, you can see it from you can see it from space. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You can see the uh, the Great Wall of China from space. They no. say you can. I've That's never been to space, so I can't say whether it's true or not. That's a myth. Is no, it really? Yeah, you can't see it from space. No, a lot of myths. A lot of myths out there that we believe. Oh, okay. Well, going, going swimming thirty minutes after you eat, not a problem. Not a problem. Swimming thirty minutes after you drink alcohol, that's a problem. That's a problem. Well, you know that from lying on the beaches. That. Yeah, from lying on the beaches in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we're pool people. You're, you're, That's the irony. We go to Hawaii no, and we hang out at the pool. Were you always pool people, though? Or as years have gone on, you become pool right, people? Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Because we used we used to go snorkeling and you know swim with the dolphins and you know. You know now I, when I, I when we mystery went, novels next to a pool. When we that's, went to China, a vacation. I climbed up. I don't know a thousand stairs, maybe more. To get up to the top of this, uh, uh, the uh, great wall. Uh, no, not the great wall. Uh, the, oh. uh, the, to get up to the top of this uh, rice field, you know, this uh, uh, the Longji, it's called, and um, huh. uh, I, I, that was quite a walk, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying was, to. Th yeah. I'm thinking now. It's how many years later? Maybe uh, six, seven years <coughs> later. I'm trying to think. Could I do that now? You know, but you can't pay people. A uh, hundred. Carry you? Uh, what? You can pay people to carry you? Yes, they have uh, these guys who carry the people up. If you, it's a hundred won or something like that, so about twenty how bucks. Much, how 20 many? Bucks. Oh, and they'll, five, car they'll two, carry you oh. to the top of the top of the rice fields. Yeah, I see. I'm no good with that. Yeah, and and I also, I, it's been about three years since I've driven a car, and I don't know if I if I still can. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. I, I'm sure I can. I'm sure the minute I get behind the wheel of a car, I would know exactly what to do. But yeah, yeah, and then crash into something. So yeah. I don't know. You know, so I like want, Prince Philip. Oh, Prince Philip. How about that one? 
I mean, at, at his age, hey, I can say this, okay, because I'm, I'm. <laughs> You're 19 years younger than him. I'm 19 years younger than him. At 97, I'm sorry, you don't drive. <laughs> and he went out the very next day after his car turned over. They bought a new one. They bought a, a new brand Range new Range Rover yeah. in a, a Land Rover, brand, brand new a Land Rover, and and without a seatbelt. <laughs> Because he he hangs with the queen and he can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My the queen's my 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 bestie. Uh, yeah. you, you can't do anything otherwise she'll chop your head off. You she know. could. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I. But I I, I just I, that one completely had me scratch in my head. You know how he could be driving like that at ninety seven. At ninety seven. But I I suppose I could drive again. I mean uh, it it's a uh, it's a it's a kind of a with me being born in California and have, having a car all the time in California. It's kind of like your other foot. Yeah, you, second nature. Yeah. Second nature. So I think if I just got behind the wheel of a car, I go, oh sure, this is it. You know, I wouldn't fine. do it in New York City though. Well, I, I have to. If I rent a car, I got to get out of New York City. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. but. That's one thing. Heading out of New York City, like you know, to the uh, what, whatever mountains you got there, uh, you know, yeah. uh, uh, the Catskills. You know, heading that way to Woodstock and shit. That's one thing. Yeah. Coming into the city, like, uh, try, that's another thing. Well, uh, by the time I was coming back into the city, I would have been driving enough that I was used to it again. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, I have no reason to have a car. You know, why do you own a car in New York City? So I can sit in a garage for $700 a month? Why? You know, and on top of that, you got to pay the goddamn insurance. It, it, not, not good. <laughs> not good. So, well, Especially for a man who's uh, frugal on his rent. <laughs> well, not because I want to be frugal. It's because nobody can figure out who I owe the money to, you know. Is that still going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a lease with anybody, so I have no financial obligation to anybody. And, you know, I'll be, I'll be happy to start paying rent the minute you give me a lease that I can sign and you say, hey, I am the renter of the apartment. And then I will pay for it. Until then, you know, and people say to me, well, you're putting all the money in escrow and everything. There's no way they can collect the money because the, there's no, uh, you know, no. I'm sitting here. I've been waiting for the last seven years for somebody to say, or six years, for somebody to say, hey, you owe us the money. You know, start paying rent. Some, here, here, someday here. these two people are going to get together and go, this, you know, this is uh, terminus. This here, is, here, yeah. Here's the lease. Yeah. You know. So. And I think next month is it? I think it's next month. Yeah, they're yeah. having a they they keep holding off these mediation hearings, and there's a judge who's supposed to rule on something last year that wound up costing us about twelve thousand dollars for papers and stuff like that, and she's never made a ruling. I mean, it's the slowest goddamn thing you've ever seen in your life. It's going on into. I think maybe this is, will this be the seventh year or something? It's been going on since 2013. So how long is that? Uh, that's six years. Six years. Huh? Yeah. So, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And, you know, we don't pay rent. We're used to that. It's The, the rent is fine. Yeah, yeah wait and, then, till they, and then the, wait the question is, if, and you have to write that check every month. The, if yeah. you want to charge me rent, what legally can you charge me? Because we have things like rent, rent stabilization here and so on. And we claim it's only about 1500 a month because that's what the rent stabilized price would be. <laughs> you know, they're meanwhile, they're renting other apartments that they renovate for like $7,000 here. But this hasn't been renovated. All right. And they can't charge that to, to the... You know, right. So we have we don't know even if we wanted to pay rent tomorrow, we don't know who we pay rent to, and we don't know how much the rent is. So obviously, we don't have any kind of a deal here. 
So, so you're not putting like three grand a month away in a real no. special account? Or? No, no. I, we asked our lawyer once, should we do that? And they said, well, he said, well, you could, but you don't have to. You know, you, you don't owe money to anybody. You'll owe money to them once somebody decides that you owe them money. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It just keeps going. The velvet on. trap is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, velvet trap. The velvet trap. So, anyway, so uh, uh, the State of the Union address, uh, the president now wants to give it in front of a rally or something? Yeah, yeah, well, he always wants to do it in front of a rally. He likes that instant gratification. Yeah. Uh, Blame him. And, mm -hmm. and I think uh, Pelosi's taking him to the woodshed. I think that's good. I think she's... You know what amazes me is he doesn't have a nickname for Pelosi. He doesn't, does he? No. I mean, everybody else, he comes up with a nickname. You know, Yeah. He can't, I don't know if he respects her or... Uh, in of a he will deliver the State of the Union yeah, despite well, rescinded invitation. That's what the MSNBC says. Yeah, but where's he going to do it? At Congress? They can't go to Congress because they won't go into session for him. Oh, is that why they... Uh, well, he can't well, well she disinvited him. She says, you know, you can't do this during this shutdown, shutdown because we don't have the manpower to... Which is bullshit. Which is bullshit, but... She has the right, you know, he come the state he's of the, the union. She's the Speaker of the House. Well, yeah. the Speaker of the House has to invite the President of the United States to give a State of the Union address. If she doesn't invite him, he can't give it. Well, he can't, yeah, he can give it, but not in, not in Congress. Well, she, she said you can submit it in triplicate. What about, is, post it. doesn't, uh, does, can't he do it in the Senate? No. Why not? No, it's a joint. Uh, it's a joint uh, meeting of the Senate and the Congress, and the Congress does the invitation. Uh oh, so Mitch McConnell can't invite him to come to the Senate. No, no, because you know it's a, it's a different room, isn't it? Yeah, well, no, but it's a different room. But what happens when he gives the State of the Union address? The Senate sits in with the Congress in that congressional room. I don't know uh, where they all sit. They sit on each other's laps or something. I, uh, I have no idea. They must bring in, you know, folding chairs or something. By the way, did you see the episode of Family Guy where he where he uh, goes to Washington and it's a whole episode with Trump? No. And then towards the end of it, there's a big dragged out fight between the two of them where they're beating each other senseless. And no. as the various things that are happening are things like Mitch McConnell... Uh, somebody throws something at him, and he moves his head down into what looks like his shell, <laughs> and then it comes back up again. And and uh, as as the president is punching um, uh, Peter, uh, the, the Republicans are cheering, and when the, it's back and forth, and the then the Democrats are cheering, and then the Republicans are cheering. Very, if you get a chance to watch it, it's uh, family guy. It's funny. It's fun yeah, yeah. stuff. Anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time. And you look rested and you look like you're ready to make trouble. Uh, I am. I am. Yeah. I had a great time in New York. Thank you for hosting me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I thought it was a, a, a wonderful trip, and I hope to come back soon. And you got to see the apartment and everything. Got to see the apartment. Got to go to a couple of shows. Yeah. Have you seen anything? I, we went to uh, we went to uh, uh, Dear Evan uh, Hanson, what's, yeah. uh, Hanson uh, yeah. the other night, and it's it's a really good show. It's not my kind of show, but it's a good show. It's really the kids it's, love it. It's well done. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, but, except for the ending. Yeah, and that that's that we saw, and a couple of months ago we went and saw the play that go, went goes wrong. Oh, uh, how was that? Oh, uh, very funny. Yeah, These yeah. guys have done stuff on the BBC, like you know, the Christmas Carol goes wrong and Peter Pan goes wrong, and then so they did uh, the play that goes wrong on Broadway, and it's every, it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's oh. just a lot of fun. You haven't seen Network or Kill a Mockingbird? No. Who? Uh, number one, the tickets are outrageous, uh, the prices, and I don't think they're available. You know, those are the two biggest shows on Broadway right now, biggest yeah, yeah. plays on Broadway right now. I saw Network. Uh, I went in, 
and got an obstructed ticket, an obstructed view ticket, so they can't sell it for the full price. What, what, <laughs> what was the obstructed view? A really fat guy in front of you or what? Close. Uh, I was in the first row. And the first row... The stage is right here. No, literally right here. Yeah. The stage. Yeah. So you've got to yeah. you, you got to go like that. Like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was no problem. But I asked for a ticket because it was just me because Debbie had already gone home, and the guy said, "Yes, we have a ticket available right here in the orchestra, and it's uh, four hundred eighty nine dollars." <laughs> and I went like that is, uh, and he saw my reaction. He was very nice. Uh, and he said, would you like an obstructed view ticket? We might have a couple of those available. And I, yeah, how much are those? And he said, those are $89. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign me up. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And it was, it was the very end of the front row, and they had a little studio, and I missed a, a couple of entrances, and that was it. But Brian Cranston was right here. Yeah, or, right, right, in your, right in your face. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was very interesting. Hey, well, listen, uh, Mr. Durst. Thank stay you so your much. lovely Frau, and uh, you stay warm out there. Stay warm. Don't yeah. fall down when you're walking. I did. I fell. Da- I fell down the other day on Broadway, yeah. going to the theater. I felt yeah. really bad too. Yeah. But you I, okay? Uh, yeah, you yeah. Nothing? But I was aching the next day, and my heel was hurting. And that was always my goal every winter to get through an entire winter without slipping and falling. Yes. Well, yeah. I didn't make it this year. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and then my wife, you know, she broke her knee. When? She, she was she walking down the street, and uh, tourists didn't look where she was going because they're probably looking up at the buildings and whatever, and she tripped her, and she fell on her knee, and she broke it. Oh, oh. So she, How do you fix a broken knee? How do you fix a broken knee? Uh, is that a song? Uh, they, uh, you, uh, they, they go in, operate on it. Put some screws in the knee to put it back together again. Then put you in a brace for six weeks, oh. and uh, now they tell her you got to keep the brace on for another six weeks. Although she can walk around the house without it, and she's doing some physical therapy. Okay, uh, but that was really something. Yeah, you know that was really something because that put her out of commission. And then because of the leg, as she's walking out of the apartment one day, she takes a fall. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. Fall hit on the, the knee. knee, she hits her head and gets oh. a concussion. Oh, jeez. She had to go get an MRI, and they said, yeah, you have concussion syndrome, and you'll have these headaches for quite a while. And right after she had got the concussion, she went wrote a note to her boss or whatever, and she said, tell me what you think of this. And it made no sense. <laughs> it made no sense. I mean, there were words next to words that didn't go next to those words. I mean, it was, <laughs> and I said, you better go see a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and she was throwing up and all of that, all the concussion <laughs> stuff. Okay, yeah. So so she's got a knee problem, which then causes a concussion. I've this I I want my money back for her. I mean, you know, I mean, uh No, 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 no don't say that cuz uh, you know, they they do that whole thing and pick you up and take you out, you know. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Well, this is one of the longest times we've spent with each other, and I think it's wonderful. I could spend have, hours talking. Have a to you. great rest of the winter, buddy. You Hope too. To in spring, and let's talk in another couple weeks. Wave goodbye, Will Durst. There he goes. Bye. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Thank you very much, Will. We love having Will on the show. Uh, Will is so smart, and he's so funny. And if he's playing at a theater or a place near you, be sure to go see him. He is well worth the uh, the price of admission. Okay? I'm turning on the uh, Gabnet line now so that you can call and uh, talk to me if you want to talk to me. Last night it was, uh, it was a little slow, uh, but uh, where we were, we were, we we did our thing, and uh, we want you to do your thing now by calling us, and um, you know, uh, uh, joining our citizen panel. Uh, our numbers are the way you call us and all of that. You go to gabnet.net, and you don't won't miss any of the show, the video of the show, because the video is running there right now. Yeah at gabnet.net, and over on the right-hand side of the page, it tells you all the things you need to know about 
getting in touch with us and talking as part of the citizen panel, which is not just one, not just two, not just three, but sometimes upwards to 10 or 11 other people. And here comes, oh, here comes Scott Boddicker, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't heard from Scott in a few days. Hi, Scott. Hey, Alex, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, I, just to follow up on Will Durst's interview, with uh, your talk with him about uh, Trump's nickname for Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. I like to call her Nancy. <laughs> that's, that's his nickname. Uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi, or as I say, Nancy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. It's all getting to be. It's just, it, isn't it, it, it's a real comedy of errors going on now, isn't uh, it? It, it's entertaining, and, and I, I do like Trump. I think he is fantastic for the country. He makes us all laugh. Yes, I think that he, he, he gets us together in, what are those pictures you've got in back of you? Comedians. Oh, comedians. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Phil Meyer has pictures in back of him. If you're listening to this, the audio of the show, you, you can't see them. You can't see Phil either, which is a mitzvah, as we call it. Um no, it's just the whole thing has just gotten way out of hand, you know. Uh, and and I feel so sorry for these uh, government workers. Oh yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, some of them are in pretty bad shape because they don't get paid that much to begin with. They live from paycheck to paycheck, not because they spend like a like a drunk uh, or a sailor. Uh, How can you assume that? How can I assume what? That they don't spend like drunken sailors. Because they, they, on what they're making and what things cost today, there's very little move for them to be able to do that. Some of these guys are in places like uh, Iowa, where a hundred grand a year goes a pretty long Who's, way. Who says they're making a hundred grand? According to the thing, it says they're making between twenty-eight uh, who, and hundred and four thousand. Between wait a minute, between twenty-eight and how much? One hundred and four, and one hundred and four thousand. That's there's a big berth there at between twenty eight and one hundred and four, and the guy's making one hundred four is probably the head of the whole state or something for something, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, one of uh, those guys. Now you're sticking up for the TSA, and you know, I, these guys are finally getting paid what they're worth. They, uh, you know, when they uh, test them and they uh, put guns through and stuff like that, these guys never find them. The only thing they find is your jewelry, and they make sure that it doesn't come out for, on the other side of the machine. I say screw these mothers. Wait, well, then I say screw the police department. I mean, come well, on, you know. Hey, the police aren't stealing your jewelry. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, shooting they, the black people. They're shooting black people. Well... That's what shooting them. Yeah. A anyway, uh, you know, as long as we've got uh, Scott here, Scott, where you been? I uh, I I thought this would be a uh, feel free Wednesday, so that's why I called in. But apparently, <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, is it supposed to be? Jesus, uh, let me look at the I thought calendar. you took. Uh, I thought this was the weekend you were supposed to be gone, well, or please, the Wednesday you were supposed to be gone. Uh, that was last week. Oh, I must have slept please, through please that. Please don't make it uh, 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 a thing, you know, that you don't call because uh, 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 Phil might be on. Well, he, he just makes me so upset, and I don't like getting upset. I, I agree. I, I can't make you upset. Only you can make you upset. No, no, right oh. now you're making me now, upset. You, now you're making so. upset by saying that. You're making hey, me upset by send, saying that. Send them some Gabba Penton or something, you know? No, I mean, I was, this get, is not fair. No, Scott's we all, a nice guy. Only thing, I don't want to the, upset the, Scott. The only, I like the, Scott. The only thing I, we have here Phil for makes you. Me drink too much. The only drug <laughs> we have here that we're giving away is Gabnet Penton. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, looks like Tony got a haircut. No, actually, I just washed it. I'm upstairs. I'm, it, I'm on nurse duty. <laughs> oh, it, it's about time. Really? I got to get a haircut. It's getting long. Mm. It's, it's oh. getting, she, she told me I got to get a haircut. It's getting too curly. Is that wallpaper? Did you grow yeah. up with that wallpaper? This is my mother's apartment. I oh got my back God. to train. That is I the most. Alex it, I Steph would go school. crazy if I had wallpaper like that. She, she <laughs> got it. Look no, no, no wonder. No wonder. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I think this explains it all. Why Tony turned out the way he did. He had to look at that wallpaper all his life. Is that cabinet full of cherubs? No, these are knickknacks. Knickknacks. Oh, That's the same thing. Uh, knickknacks. 
I bought this from uh, we we call them chotskis in our world. Yeah. When I went to San Francisco, I bought it this thing. And, and hold it up. Hold it up into the camera. We can't see it. A little it. higher. Yeah, yeah, that, there, yeah, yeah, now we can. Uh, what is that? It's the Golden Gate Bridge from your hometown. Is that the mint? Is that the, the real mint? Golden Gate Bridge? No, it's a oh. taxi one I bought, I think, in Chinatown. Well, then uh, you got gotcha. ripped. Yeah, then you got did ripped you, off. And I got these two. Right? Did you get the Silver Horse bookends? <laughs> How about the sombrero? <laughs> well, I actually took the candy out of this. She kept it. Yeah. Um, this is from that G. Riddell Square. She, I, she, she, she. Boy, you are a I sucker. I'm, I wish I were there running a souvenir stand when you come around. <laughs> stuff, hey. Oh, wait, this was nice, Alex. Hold on. Oh, 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 what, what? Uh, yeah. I bought this. I don't know where I got this. It's like. It, Powell and High Street. It's like a I car. know you got it. It was in the Powell and High. I'll tell you another reason why he he, he turned out the way he did. It was only eight dollars. His, his mother, his his mother thinks million. enough. His mother thinks enough of this shit to put it in a cabinet on display with a light. Yeah, with a light. Yeah. I feel like we're we're like intruding on her space, don't you? That's all right. She likes to show it to people. Go over to the underwear drawer. She's sleeping anyway, but she's calling me. I'm on patrol. I sleep upstairs now when she needs me, which is like 24 <laughs> seven. Look, well, you're just Norman Bates. That's all you it's are. True, Alex. You're Norman I mean, she, Bates. Cause she doesn't leave me alone. We're we gonna talk about nothing. Yeah. Ma, are you sleeping? Not anymore. I don't hear it. So she might be out of line. I got the wind thing going in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, every, do what I do every now and then with Marjorie. If I see if she's sleeping really still, I kind yeah. of mo tickle her or something to see if she's moving because I'm afraid. You know, one night I'm going to wake up and she's going to be that's well, it, golf, a an, bit. an ex-wife. You know, Ooh. I mean, you don't know. You know, so. Uh, every now you've, ne you've never made it to to widower, have you? I haven't made it to widower yet. No, oh my. no. A, a Jack Bishop has. Yeah, oh, Jack yes. Bishop has. I haven't. Uh, and I, I, you know, I, I don't want to be, but being a widower now would be better than being dead yourself. So I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that one is. You know, I mean, is this what I had? Do, do I have all these uh, depressing things to look forward to? You know? Only if you keep falling. What, Scott? I didn't say I was drinking my coffee. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I said only if you keep falling. Uh, yeah. Is is that what you have to look forward to? Yeah, I don't know. I did something to my heel though when I fell the other day, and, and I think I kind of split the the uh, skin on the yeah. heel, which takes a little more time to he heal because it's so thick, you know. Yeah, put put one of those uh, monk skin things uh, on it, you know, to protect it. She's snoring like a lock. These trees fall in the back there. Oh, really? And then she'll tell me, I can't sleep. Yeah, all right, sure. By the way, by the way, I saw something today that was yeah. is really quite amazing. My wife finally now is has her knee showing. She can take the bandage off and you can see the scar. Well, did she start wearing it, skirts no, above her ankles? No, no, but I gotta tell you, the scar is like hairline. Wow. They, you know how they why why it isn't all jaggedy and stuff? They the glue, guy cut a straight line. No, they glued it together to put it yeah, back yeah. together. They used glue. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. of putting glue on my super glue on my heel. Oh yeah, yeah that, and it'll and then you'll stick to your shoe and you'll never get out of it. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, here's I still have. Uh, I don't know if people can see this. But yeah, I still yeah. Ha have that. Look at that. That was from that's, the fall. That's, I that's cold. A boo boo. Yeah, that's called a boo boo. But then I then I did something to my heel where I like split the heel a little bit, and it's even there's a little bit of brownness there from blood. Uh, uh, you really went down. Yeah. And then last night, last night. Now uh, this never happens to me. I mean, very rarely. Uh, it, it early in the day, I blew my nose, and there was a little blood in my nose. Right. So last night after the show, right after the show was over, I, you know, my nose is plugged up, and I go and I go to blow it, and all of a sudden I must have blown a gasket or something. I started getting a bloody nose. I, you know, I maybe I had a handful of them in my lifetime, but they always amaze me because it, it's just coming out by the pint. You know, is there blood vessels the blood in the nose that uh, you might have? Uh, 
A blown a vessel or something? Yeah, it was, undoubtedly it was a vessel. And, yeah. and so there I am trying to, you know, and it's going everywhere, you know. You know what I'm talking about, Scott? You've had it happen. Oh, yeah, it used to so, happen like that. But now that you're on blood thinners and the baby aspirins and everything, yeah. it's going to be a lot worse. Oh, no, really? the only time I had it, it was this tough kid in high school in the bathroom, and he let me have yeah. it right in the nose. <laughs> Even then, nobody liked you. Why yeah, is it, by true. the way, speaking of blood coming out of people, why is it in movies, no matter what they do to somebody, like they, they stick them in the stomach with a sword or something, blood comes out of their mouth? It's always oh, blood uh, it's coming out of the mouth. Usually, it's the it's the lungs oh. uh, or something, and the you know. Then really, so the, that's accurate that people would uh, yeah, suddenly have blood yeah. coming out. Okay. Hello, Kevin. Kevin, can you hear us? I don't know. He's, Kevin, he's, can you hear? He's us? trying to figure it out. Um, he's stuck. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm sitting around here in the studio. He's, say, he's hypnotized by the microphone. He looked like he was frozen, but yeah, he's got bad bandwidth, it looks like. Hmm. Is he there? Are you there? Ke Kevin's moving. Yeah, he's moving. Hello? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. We can hear oh. you. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I'm oh. just turning off stuff here. Sorry. Okay, okay. good. Anyway, so um, uh, anyway, I'm looking around here and I'm thinking about all things I'm, I'm sending away and buying like USB ports and things like that, 3.0 ports, to completely redo this whole area. And I'm going to have to like one of these days do it over a weekend, put in the new machine. And it's not going to be pretty because I'm going to have to unplug everything and then replug it. You know, oh, I, I moved my desk. Uh, to the other side of the uh, little room that I that I have it in with the computer, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I started going through the wires, and uh, you know I hadn't moved this desk in six eight months, and the wires were not tangled when I first put them there. Now, uh, after I moved the desk, I saw that every wire was was all jumbled up, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, and then I found all these wires that weren't connected to anything. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm sure I have tons of wires down there that are not connected to anything at this point. But it, yeah. it, it's, uh, uh, you know, I just, I, I, you know, I may have to say all of a sudden online, I'm not going on tonight because I haven't got the thing working yet. But I, I, I can probably do it in a lot less time, but I want to just pull everything out and put it all back in, you know. Hey, Ray, uh, is it cold in Palo Alto? No, I'm just incognito. <clears throat> Why are you incognito? No, I'm, I'm just joking. Yeah, I'm cold, man. It's cold in my house. Is it really? Yeah. I thought you had radiant heat in those eichlers. I do, but it's not. I don't know, but like if the temperature drops really fast, it takes forever to heat. You do know you, what I mean? Do you, li yeah. you live in an eichler house? I do, yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, it is. So they, oh. they, they, at one point, they became very déclassé, and now I guess they're kind of hip to have one right yeah when we bought it it was very déclassé. It, now they're now it's very hip it, well, it, people explain, like it. explain what people uh, like that retro it, stuff ex, it's, yeah, explain it's what really eichler neat. homes were they were eichler was a guy who produced mass quantities of homes and yeah. they were in the kind of kind of post-war what how can we describe their architecture uh, uh, uh the walls are thin uh they they used radiant heat they have a lot of glass uh, I live in one. Uh, you want me to do it? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm very familiar with Eichler's. So yeah, I think okay. uh, it's all right. Do the a lot it, but what was so distinctive about them? Because you could tell an Eichler home from any other home. They're very mm -hmm. angular. They had an A-frame look to them, didn't they? A lot of, some of them do. The, you, the, the roofs are usually flat or almost flat. Yeah. There's a lot of window and a lot of uh, light, natural light. Many of them had there. atriums. Some of them have atriums. I don't have an atrium. And this guy was a post uh, post war builder, right? And yeah. just took whole whole areas and built tract homes one after the other. There, thousands there of them. different grades of Eichler. So, uh, like like um, there are some that are sort of custom and they're very nice. And then there's the one like I live in that's almost bottom end. Although it's in Palo Alto, so it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, yeah. We had a bunch of them in Burlingame, too. But there's no subfloor. It's on a slab. Mm -hmm. And there's no attic. Oh, wow. Oh. No attic. So there's no, there's no insulation, either. There's no, yeah, you have yeah. to do that all after. 
Like okay. I had to get double pane windows put in, insulation in the roof, insulation in the walls. There's nothing. But there's, there's, no a, there's no attic and there's no basement. Where's no. the burner then? And so when I first in, it was when I first moved in, it was uh, single pane windows, and you'd be sitting near the window if it was windy and cold outside, and you could feel the wind coming through these giant windows. Now, now wait, like, wait, 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 Tony, it, Tony yeah. had a Tony had a question. What was your question, Tony? Do they have? Where do they put the burner, Alex? Like there's uh, well, there's, there's no oil burner. It, no oil burners. It's radiant it's, heating. It's, it's, it's oh, hot water. water. It's pipes oh. under the slab, but mo a lot of them don't work anymore be because they use galvanized steel. Luckily, I have copper, so it didn't get ruined. Radiant heating but, is the floor's heat. Yeah. Oh wow! And, and there's a pump, and there's a pump, and I, I got like the t I bought I bought at the top of the line one, so it pumps all the way to the back of the house. Yeah. It works better if you don't have any carpet either. Yeah. Radiant heat's actually very comfortable. Yeah, if you can get it get it at the right level. The yeah. problem is when there's big fluctuations in temperature, it takes forever your, for your house to heat up. Well, yeah, you yeah. got to bring it up only a couple degrees a day well, because you, you know, do have I, wood I, floors I, I, I guess it's a up. great yeah. subject for this time of year, but I got to tell you that when it comes to heating, uh, the worst for me is electric heating. I just find electric. Well, you got steam, present. right? Alex, I've, got radi I've got radiators. Radiators, yeah. Yeah, radiator. You got steam. Now, Marjorie uh, calls them radiators, but I told her they're not radiators because the heat doesn't radiate. You want me to show you? It radiates. It radiates. Uh, radiator? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, she comes from I, Philadelphia, and they say radiator. Down oh, that's there. right. Well, they say it's for Philly two, said though. rhymes with yeah, gladiator. Weird. You know how come in how come in Pennsylvania they have all these weird ways of saying shit? Yeah, they call or, shit like uh, soda. They call it pop. Pop, uh, really? Yeah. I, and, and I have a friend from Philly. His last name, you know, everywhere else in the country it's Doherty, but in Philly they say Doherty. Really? His name is Jack Doherty. Doherty yeah, in Philly. Doherty, I think is Doherty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it's spelled Doherty. You know? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Hello, oh, hello to Brian. By the way, good evening, Brian. Well, uh, you're acting like the little uh, Annunciation Nazi again, are you, Mr. Bennett? No, I'm not the Annunciation Nazi, but <laughs> no, yes, you are. Radiator <laughs> is blatantly wrong. How many mm. here would agree that radi radiator is wrong? Would you raise your I hand, say, please? I say it like only in New York. Radiator. You say radiator. I, don't I say they, radiator. I don't, think they, I don't think New Yorkers call them radiators. I rule a thumb as long as you're not. I call it radiator. Or what the fuck you call it? Well, you so see, my buddy here, was from, here, uh, here is my buddy the, was from look, Maryland, and he called it gasoline. Gasoline? Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Gasoline. gasoline. Well, uh, I've heard Brian, that. let me also inform you that I am a broadcaster and I'm an announcer, yeah. and I feel that I am a steward. Of the English language, that I, I if I must no. use it, I must use it well so, as an example to others to do the same but, thing. I, yeah, but I we're the so citizen different. panel, and we I'm talk a like the rest of those guys. I'm a gram, I'm a grammar Nazi and an enunciation Nazi myself, but only to myself. No, oh, well, here's what's happening. <laughs> next <laughs> month, next month is the month that I hate most of all, and the reason is it's February, and February. everybody goes around here. I'm going. February. Oh, I hate that. Too. It's not yeah, February. Me, it's February. February. Look how it's spelled. There's an R U in there. It's yeah. February, not February or February. It's February. Well, everyone. Well, that's like that's like uh, you know what else Rock bugs around. the hell out of me is Happy New Year's or ah. it's New Year. It's New Year, not New Year's. Okay, there is this moron who does these ads in New York over and over and over again for an online casino out of New Jersey, all right? And he's got these women who do the dealing to you on your computer screen, right? <laughs> and he says, we have live dealers broadcasted live. <laughs> hey, yeah. uh, and you know, I the wrote them. I wrote them and told them. I said, he sounds like an idiot. You, there is no such term Repetition. something may have been broadcasted that's broadcast. the past tense but when they're doing it it's not they're not broadcasted it right <laughs> talking about commercials there was two when i was growing up that were the greatest commercials it was one was denison's which was uh, some clothing place that was uh, worse than matthew's top of the hill daily city 
And then uh, the other one was JGE Appliances. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, you, you know, you, uh, you show your union card at the door. Yeah. We got appliances that are so cheap you think they fell off the back of a truck. Yeah. That guy ended up getting convicted of racket. Yeah, but we're not talking about bad language in those ads. But what I'm saying, here's this moron every day. I've got to hear this ad broadcasted live. No. Broadcasted yeah. live. <laughs> you, you either you broadcast live, and by the way, you usually don't say it was broadcasted. <laughs> In other words, there is no. Uh, if, the, the if you're from New Jersey, you minute, do. They, with broad, it was the word, with the broad word broadcast, the present tense and the past tense are exactly the same. Live on the You ever listen to people from New Jersey? I don't think they are in the same country. You know, uh, they they don't know how to drive. First of all, and and second of all, you know, they they got a language all their own. You know, live on tape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I just, I just, I, you know, I, so I'm, 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 yes, I am a, uh, a, a Nazi when it comes to the English language. Well, Berlitz happens to sell New Jersey tapes. Uh, now I think they they sell Babel. Babel is the new uh, how language. to how to speak New Jersey. Yeah. Well, it's just how to speak New York. Yeah. For instance, when you go get this brown <laughs> liquid that comes in a cup, what's it, what's it called? Coffee. Coffee. Shit. Coffee. 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 Right. Coffee. 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 And if you want it regular, how does it come? Regular. Wait. Regular. <laughs> I'll have a regular small coffee. A regular coffee. Yeah. Black. Regular coffee. Black. No, it's not black. It's with cream and sugar if it's regular. Uh, oh, that's no. Regular uh, yes, if it's regular, <laughs> it comes with cream and sugar. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. I grew up there. Yes, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. And 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 when you first move here, you say they say, well, "Would you like your coffee regular?" And I, you, your automatic assumption is that's black, right? No, you want it black. But if you want it with cream, with you, if you want it with cream and sugar, you want it regular. Right. Regular. That's why I only go to Starbucks because they talk normal. No, no, Starbucks. The problem no, with Starbucks is their normal. whole is their whole nomenclature for their goddamned coffee. It's a fucking coffee. It's a large coffee. It's a small <laughs> coffee. It's not a vente. Why is the smallest it, one tall? Yeah. There, there was some yeah, moron in front of me this morning at Pete's, and this guy's ordering a coffee. I'm standing there, and it must have taken him five minutes to describe how he wanted this with a shot of that and a thing of this. Five I, I was ready to put my, this and, I want yeah, a half a cat vente I put my mocha. Foot up his ass, but I yeah, didn't want to get and, and so I don't go into Starbucks because I don't know what to tell them. I go, can you give me? Can, I purposely speak English when I'm there. You know, I say I, mean, I want a small coffee, and they said, "You want tall? No, small." I went in one day and I said, uh, "Give me a, give me a, give me a coffee," and they looked at me like I was from outer space. You know. Um, well, I've lost medium. the taste for Shaw. Starbucks is too weak. Uh, you know, there, this uh, uh, Pete's is better. Oh, but I'm, the guy I'm who doing, owns what Starbucks, do you think I got in this cup Starbucks right, in this cup right now. I'm doing Pete's. Yeah, uh, Schultz, uh, the guy who started Starbucks, yes. uh, he uh, wanted to uh, open up a thousand stores called, um, uh, started with an R, uh, Reserve. Mm -hmm. And uh, now the new CEO says, nah, we're only going to open up 16 and see if it works. But what the Reserve is, was supposed to compete with uh, uh, all the uh, you know, high-end coffees, uh, blue something, and uh, there's a few other. There's some high-end coffees. Uh, I can't imagine paying you more know, than you pay the time for Starbucks. You know, by the time I put my by the time I put my sweetener blue in there, bottle, it blue bottle, blue bottle, it, it doesn't matter how it tastes. You know, yeah. but I mean, I do like Pete's. I, 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 I and girlfriend goes to Starbucks every day, and I tell her Pete's is so much better, but there are no Pete's here. Uh, well, you know that Death Wish coffee I didn't think was as strong as Pete's. No, there's a, there's a Starbucks Plus you can buy in the K cups that's double yeah. the cup, double the caffeine, but I can't tell the fucking difference. The thing with Pete's is you never know what you're going to get. Like one day it could be kind of okay, and the next day you're like your heart's pounding out of your chest. Well, yeah, I, I went in. They gave me some African uh, thing, and it and it tasted like Colombian. I, and I don't like Colombian. I like French roast or Italian espresso. Oh. Oh, really? French roast and Italian is typically stronger than Colombian, I guess. Yeah, I know. That's what I like. I do like strong blends, but I do like Colombian every once Columbian in a while. Colombian tastes like earth. 
You know, you know what my favorite earthy. is? It's pure like it. Kona coffee, but you can't yeah. get it. Like, That's pure, not not without, not, I 100%. You have to pure, like, get it. It has to be pure. Yeah. yeah, but it's so hard to find. When, last time I went to Hawaii, I bought a whole ton of it and brought it home. You know, I never, used to, some beer. I, I never used to drink coffee, and now I'm addicted to the fucking shit. What's that Jamaican stuff that used to be so good? Uh, Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee? Oh. Ganja coffee. Yeah, ganja coffee. Yeah, ganja. Ganja. It's a good stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's edible, man. You know what's good like in it. Miami? Cuban coffee. Hey, by, oh, the, way, yes. by the way, by the way, somebody came over. Yes. I won't say who. Uh, and uh, he 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 brought some some uh, ganja with him, but what he did is it was in, he had a vape, and it was a vape a mixture to go in. It goes into the vape, and I had never vaped pot before, and that's, that's not the only way I do it, huh? That's how I do it. Yeah, it doesn't have the smell, does it? No. So which I is kind of, I mean now that you can smoke it legally in California. <laughs> I would think you would like to have that smell. That smell, to me, says camaraderie. It says it smells like yeah, but oregano. Not in your house. What? It like burnt oregano. Not in your house when they're children. I, like that. <clears throat> I don't like the smell of it. I don't like that. Well, yeah. we don't care what you like when it comes to pot, <laughs> Phil. So shut it the fuck up. It reminds him of Democrats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun to have your house smell like you just ran over a skunk. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you know, they said that these vaping things are actually, there's nicotine in it, and it's highly addictive, and there's a lot of nicotine. Well, Yeah, that's the the, No, but we're not not talking about vaping nicotine right now. We're talking about vaping pot. Yes, we are. I just said we're we're talking about pot. That's the cigarettes. That's that's the tobacco. That's one the bubble gum ones. We're, we're talking yeah. about oh, the, the ones for kids. The one, we're yeah, talking exactly. about exactly. We're talking about the pot. Exactly. We're talking about the pot, you yeah. know, and putting it in a vape and doing it that way, you know. Um, but I, uh, uh, you know, they're finding the vaping for kids who are vaping nicotine. It's it's not good. It's become a it's real problem. Addictive. Become it's a real bad problem. bad. Maybe I'm misreading. Yep. Popcorn lung. Now, my question is, though, will because of the delivery system, does it change the uh, uh, the danger of nicotine? Uh, oh, no, uh, no, no. I mean, when it comes to lung cancer and things like that. No, no you get the nicotine. No, no, no. It says you get the nicotine, but you're not getting the smoke. You're not, well, get, you're not getting the carbon monoxide. Yeah, you're stuff. not getting the carbon there's monoxide. The, there's no tar and all yeah, that other yeah, crap. So, that's... no, no. So I think but you may- get what they call popcorn lung. I'm not sure what that is, but it's like a I think it's a I don't know, some kind of vaporizing in your lung or something. That's really? A, might be from the heat. Yeah. 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 But you know you know what it is whenever something comes along. Cigarettes were this way. We didn't know till cigarettes became very popular because uh, years ago people they when they smoked they they had to roll them and you know you rolled them one at a time and so you didn't smoke as much because you had to roll them, uh, but then around the middle of the uh, 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 first half of the twentieth century, they came out with pre-rolled cigarettes and people started smoking them like crazy, and it wasn't until the fifties that they realized that there was a danger in this. And so the same thing is true with vaping. You know, oh, here comes vaping. Everybody goes, oh, that seems like it's logic. It makes logical sense that it's not dangerous. But we then find out, hey, it's causing this and it's causing popcorn lung or whatever. But we don't find that out till later, till there's a, a period of time that we've been able to see the effect of doing this, uh, this thing. Um, that's why in the beginning I didn't blame the tobacco companies because they didn't think they were hurting anybody, but then they I got the they then they, no no then they got the empirical evidence somewhere around the middle of the fifties that right. uh, that that th- this stuff was killing people, and they didn't do anything about it. They tried to protect their turf. They actually That's the problem. Hid, hid memos. Yeah. Yes, that. Uh, but what I'm saying is, said- in the beginning, they didn't think this was hurting anybody. They were just providing cigarettes to the public. You know what? What harm is all those? You remember that? when they used to give them out in Union Square? Oh you know, yeah, those little get, those little four packs. Yeah, no, yeah, actually, they were, they were like, oh, that you got them when they weren't doing what they did. Later on, they were like little ten packs. They, were, they yeah, yeah, them free. Oh sure, you give away the samples so people get used to smoking the shit, and then they get addicted to it, and yeah, then they're. Too, I don't understand. You know, when you first try to try a cigarette, 
you cough it's and, it, and you hack and it's horrible and you, uh, you get the ashes all you know and then people get addicted to this and pay 11 bucks a pack some of the some like people are paying now. i know 13. they're expensive now wow yeah you know i i, 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 I did it one time because i was around people who were smoking constantly in, well, I, in, I, in I, new york I, I, when i first went to college you could smoke in the classroom and uh, the classroom like was like a smoky yeah. uh, every it was full of smoke and uh, so you know if you didn't join them you suffocated so well, I, I remember, started I started smoking well here yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened to, to me smoke on planes I moved yes. I, I I moved really? to New York when I moved yeah. to New York I yeah moved. I remember that there was on airplanes so when one I time I was taking a Hughes Air West yeah, flight Alex up. Alex is trying to say when something. I moved oh, to, when I sorry, moved sorry. To, yeah thank you Phil when I moved to New York. Uh, New York became one of the first cities to start banning smoking in public places and so on and so forth. And when I went back to San Francisco, I was feeling so wonderful because I could actually smoke in a movie theater and enjoy the movie. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and you know what was weird is one time when uh, uh, California stopped doing the smoking stuff. Yeah. And I went to Pennsylvania and they had still had the, you know, you want smoking or non smoking. And I went to a restaurant in Allentown, I think it was, and I couldn't even sit in the non-smoking section because because the smoke was coming over well, to the that stupid, section. Well, the stupidest the idea stupid, in the world yeah. was the concept of a smoking... Going, what uh, no, the hell's the difference? No, no. The stupid, I was a smoker. The stupidest <laughs> concept of all time was a smoking section on an airplane. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. mean, I mean, you are you're in this hermetically tube. sealed tube, and you don't yeah. think the smoke from the back is going to come to the front? Yeah. You, you know what I miss stupid. is going to a good restaurant and being able to have a cigar after dinner. You know, oh. uh, you go to the Bankers Club or the top, uh, top of the B of A. They yeah. used to come out with a, a box, uh, a whole a big thing of cigars. And, you know, you'd say, okay, I'll have uh, that one, Ramon Alonis. I remember telling some kids once that, uh, that, you know, I would prefer, because they were smoking, I said, I prefer that you do heroin. And they were aghast. What do you mean why I do heroin? I said, well, at least with heroin, you get an effect. I said, with smoking, there's no effect. The only reason you're smoking is to keep from not smoking. You're just inhaling. Just early death. You know, you're doing it because if you don't do it, you will want a cigarette. But yeah, right. with heroin, at least you get high. With coke, at least you get high. With marijuana, you get high. But there's no high in smoking. Do you yeah. think the people that do heroin after a long period of time still get high? Or they just no. need it to be No, normal? I'll tell you what happens to people. This is something that it, one of the facts about heroin that most people don't know about, but it's true. Um, a guy can be a heroin addict, and if he doesn't overdose and he manages to not uh, kill himself doing it and he gets to be around 45 50 all of a sudden one day he wakes wakes up and doesn't want to do it anymore uh, it's like you mature it's what was called among addicts maturing out really? and that you actually and matured the- out of uh, out of heroin the only thing dangerous about heroin was when you bought it you didn't know what the strength was and if there was a bad strength or a high strength it could kill you if that whole thing had been regulated, if poison. that whole thing had been regulated by the federal government so that you knew what kind of dose you were getting, we would have cut down on heroin deaths immensely. How, how about not doing it in the first place? Well, that's... Uh, that, no, no, you don't understand. We should have had a wall and none of it would have been here. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's it. Yes. I one of the, yes, one of the nothing Scandinavian... of the drones and the airplanes and the ports and the... No, it was the wall. The wall would have stopped everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, uh, Yes, Ray. I just want to say one of the Scandinavian countries, I can't remember which one, they they decided to do that. They they give pure heroin to to people who come in, and they they have to go to, like, counseling and stuff, and that way they can keep their job. Um, I I thought it was Portugal. Well, maybe uh, Portugal too. That, I know. No, I know one of the Scandinavian. A lot countries of the Scandinavian do countries do that. Yeah, and, 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 and they have to go to therapy. They have to, and they keep their job, and they'll keep giving them the heroin until they're ready to get off of it, and then they help them get off. What's of inter- it. What's interesting is, I mean, there are a lot of myths about heroin. Uh, 
Uh, one of one of them, the worst one, is that you try heroin once and then you can't get off of it. It takes six no. weeks of constant usage before you become addicted to heroin. But a yeah. lot of people went, well, as long as I did it once, I better to keep do, doing it, rather than saying, well, if I don't do it again, I won't be addicted to it. But anyway, uh, the the trouble with the, the uh, biggest problem with heroin is, is that a person who is a a uh, seasoned heroin user uh, uh, can d accomplish most tasks, you know. Yeah, it, it, I don't it, know. I don't know how. Well, uh, I, because I, they're I, not I, because you well, don't I because had, you don't understand drugs, Phil. Because you're a fucking cop and you have no, one I, mindset on this. I, I tell you, I tell you, this is you know from the '70s. But uh, I had a friend who was a dentist, retired now, and the pharmacy that was open for like a hundred years next door to his dental practice in Oakland. Uh, was the guy retired? He was closing things down. So he gave my friend a, a jar of pharmaceutical heroin, and uh, we snorted it. <laughs> it was it was great, <laughs> you know. But uh, I you know I, I wouldn't do it on a regular uh, I, basis. Okay, so it's, yeah. it's the one drug I've never done because I know I would like it because everybody I know whoever did it said it's a it's terrific, you know. It, it, it was like quaaludes. No, it was more. It's more than that. It's like nothing matters. Everything's well, yeah, fine. Yeah, it really relaxes you. Life is okay. You know. Uh, yes, uh, Ray. I I think with these drugs is you get a dependency on it, and so you don't feel as much of an effect, um, and so you can function. And the problem is, is people want that strong effect, so they keep taking more and more and more and more, and then that's when they run into trouble. Yeah. But. It's like it's like any drug. Your body just gets used to it, and you don't feel you don't feel it anymore. Yeah, yeah. To the same extent, uh, you know. But so Tony, you're talking to all these drug addicts here. You know, does yeah. your mother know? She's sleeping still. Thank uh, God. She's always sleeping. Well, yeah, she's getting her rest on now. But she'll page me later, probably two o'clock in the morning. Page? Like, well, you have a page from her? your mom? She calls me on Amazon Alexa Tony, because when she, she's Tony. using a walker. She's recovering from surgery still. Tony, uh, Tony, tonight you have revealed so much about yourself that we understand exactly why you are the way you are. What is that wallpaper? I know. <laughs> I got her medicine for tomorrow. Uh, well, is that like bumblebees or something? This was, this was her flower. It doesn't even match. Jesus. I was, look, I was the, like 1948. I was yeah, in look a, at the uh, <laughs> cover for the wall switch. I was in a cover for the I wall was, I was in a lousy hotel yeah. in Paris, and uh, they, they I we got this room, and it was a really small room. But what made it worse was it had that kind of wallpaper. Ugh. From, you see that lock on the door? That's how she locks Tony out of her apartment. Yeah. I have the key. Look, this is what she makes me buy her, Alex. I don't even know what the hell those this is. Those are Hummel dolls. It's like a precious moment. No, those are Hummel, Hummel dolls. Hummel, yeah, she likes it, so I get them for her. Tony, break that, Jeez, Tony. You break your arm. Tony, have you ever seen this movie Psycho? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, we, we, we've, already, we've already made the Norman Bates joke earlier tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tony. We want to see Tony. this mother. This mother. <laughs> this mother. I think she's buried downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Usually talks he's, 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 nice. he's walling her up. He's, he's walling her Bring up in the wall. Bring me my <laughs> Hummel dolls, Tony. <laughs> she knows where everything is. <laughs> We've never you seen moved her. my doll. Tomorrow I'll give her a double dose. Tomorrow I've got a medicine with me. <laughs> We've never seen or heard your mother. Can you, I'm going to give a PM in the morning and AM at night to see what happens. <laughs> I told you, just, I just at that. the top of the stairs, push. That's all. She's really, she's small. You would be, she's like a little bit of nothing. Like an elf. So when she rolls down, she won't damage the wallpaper on the walls. By the way, the greatest advertising slogan I ever read was this drug company, and I can't remember what the name of the drug was, but it said, use such and such. Uh, in the PM, for a BM in the AM. That's awesome. <laughs> I think I vaguely remember that. That's so good. Wow. Uh, let me. I see. love that. Yeah. Uh, it is if you have the BM in the but, AM. No, marketing. But you know, I think there are a lot of there. There have. I, there was a great book about the. It was called the Heroin Myth, and that the the biggest the biggest reason why marijuana heroin was dangerous was because of all the myths surrounding it. 
uh, and that we've never dealt with drugs on a realistic basis, that it is a, it's a medical problem. It's not a criminal problem, and we've, tr we've dealt with it as a crime, and that was not the way to, to, to deal with it. Um, and uh, so, uh, I, I, you know, it, it, it's time that we, it, and we're still in that same, I mean, can you imagine there are places in this country, and there's a, there's a, an, a, a Justice Department that still thinks marijuana should be illegal? Come on. I do. Yeah. Why? Why? Why should it be illegal, Phil? I don't want people uh, on pot driving cars, walking around. Oh the yeah, but they're a bit. Uh, alcohol's okay. Yeah, I would say it's more. Oh alcohol. yeah. Oh, by the way, they can drive better on pot than <laughs> they can on alcohol. Likes the change. Especially, and, no, especially uh, red wine. Uh, no, red in the, wine in, the okay. 19, uh, in, uh, in the in the sixties, they did some studies in Oregon testing drivers on marijuana versus uh, uh, not ma on marijuana. Okay. They found that. People who drove on marijuana, who were experienced marijuana users, who had used it for a while, could compensate 100% for the effects of the marijuana and drive. I would say that's true. Drunks, you know, the, those, oh, those drunks Hold that on. have been drunks for 40 years, yeah. they, they drive. They don't seem to have a no, problem they cannot until they drive. kill somebody. They cannot drive. To begin with, a drunk fun. always feels that he can drive. That's the right, problem. that's what I mean. A guy who, a guy, no, no, a guy who's high on pot will say to you, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not going to drive because I'm high right now and I'm enjoying it and I don't want to harsh my mellow by driving. No, a person on marijuana will know when he's too high to drive. You see, you don't believe any of this, Phil, but, but that's your cop mentality because it's kept yeah. the cops in business for years, what's, busting what's people. That song, for shit. I like marijuana, you like marijuana, we like marijuana too. Da David Peel. Oh, yeah, the Lower East Side, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You love marijuana, no. I love marijuana. You, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think of all the money they can make. Two joints yeah. in the morning. I smoked the joints at night. Yeah, that was the to what the was joints. that group, the tokens or the no, not the tokens. The uh, uh, bugs. No. Uh, uh, no, the I bugs. forgot. It was there, there was no. a name for the group. I remember the song though. We were playing yeah. it. Uh, There's about twenty different versions of that. Yeah, I you know I just uh, it's just that I think that we need to re reassess the whole drug problem. By the way, uh, a statement that I heard that I really have to endorse, I heard the other day on, on one of the news programs from some one of these pundits. Uh, he said, uh, Trump keeps talking about building a wall. He said, that technology is on the same level with building moats and putting alligators in them. <laughs> they, they work. They work. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, that, you, that, oh, if you had a moat with an alligator in it, would yeah. you swim across that, it? That, 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 I would jump I from alligator so. to alligator. That, that, yeah, that, oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that walls don't work, and that uh, technology does. Yeah. And, well, and, and that the idea of building a wall is a waste of time, and that, you know, why don't you build a moat with alligators? I mean, it's the same. It's it's thousand-year-old technology. Why, why do all these other countries have walls around them? Which ones? Uh, even Mexico no, on the Guatemalan name one, border. Name one. Name one. I said Mexico on the Guatemalan I, border. I'm not aware of a wall on the Guatemalan uh, border. The Ber yeah, there is. Uh, Berlin. Uh, the 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 Berlin uh, yeah, wall. Yeah, what uh, happened? To, what, <laughs> what happened to that wall? Uh, Reagan <laughs> tore it down. Reagan <laughs> tore it down. But uh, it worked. Did you see many people getting out of East Berlin? No. Oh, oh, there were tons of people getting out of East Berlin. You they idiot. got shot before they got over the wall. Boy, are you uninformed? Oh, you know what's what works oh, good? The North Korea, to South Korea. Is, is there? Well, there isn't a wall. There isn't a wall between North Korea and South Korea. <laughs> no, they got a demilitarized zone. It's 15 miles wide. Yeah, but it's not. A, but there's not a wall. No, there's no wall. Yeah. Yeah. Three thing electric fence. And people well, sometimes crawl under, and they make it once in a while. Once right. they want a wall, they should do like one of those dog things. Remember the invisible dog fence where you go if the dog goes past it, they shock them. Oh, yeah, they, 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 they sell, sell that. that they sell that in this Mexican country. Every Mexican wear too. one of those. Every Mexican should have to wear a zapper, a dog zapper. <laughs> yeah, every, collar, brown, yeah. every collar. brown person. Yeah. 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 Uh, they it's, sell it's, that in this country too, Bree. You can get him on well, Amazon. Luck, Either because, that or uh, he's Bri, today, are you bragging that your mouth is fresh. Well, I'm going to the dentist today. 
Oh, so I always, whenever, like, whenever I go to my dad, I have look. to get a, uh, a ready for a crown. And if it's really bad, oh. a root canal, which I have never had. I do not want. I'm uh, very fearful. Oh, I my had, my dentist, yeah, they, they, if they're anything like the dentist today, the last root canal, uh, they just gave me Novocaine. I didn't feel anything. No, yeah, I don't worry about it. I've had six or seven root canals, man. <clears throat> I've got a whole it's, it's, it's a piece of cake. I've got tons in my mouth, but let me tell you. I didn't budget for it. I went to a good dentist because of an emergency last month. Yeah. Now I'm going to the one who's offering a big, you know, a big discount for faculty and staff, and I'm just hoping. She's been doing it a long time. She's trained in Canada, but she's from India, and uh, she's, she seems to know what she's doing. Although one thing that did uh, give me a little trepidation was when she was talking about the crowns, she, she was giving me the options, and one of the options was a metal crown, metal. You don't want it sounded, metal. No, it, really? that sounded medieval. Like, I didn't even know they were no, still you don't want that. Uh, get a porcelain. You have a porcelain, grill. Yeah. Hey, hey, Bree, if, if you can, get, the, get the, uh, the, the root canal from an endodontist and have the dentist put the crown on. Because the endodontist, that's all they do are root canals. Oh, and, and when I've had them at endodontist, it's like nothing. Yeah. And they do a better job. Well, my okay. here, you know, here's here's my question to you. How much, uh, you, uh, to begin with, don't you have insurance through your school? No. Dental's not covered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we, we, But, we, but yeah. they do have, the, there are dentists in the area who will give discounts because they want the business. So you know? how much, how much? I went to three de yeah. dentists to, to figure this out, mm -hmm. you know. You want to know how much it costs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it, it's a discount. But if you want Novocaine, it costs more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what kind of drugs they got over there in Dubai? It's like no drugs. Heroin. Okay, so, they give you heroin. Okay, new drugs. So, okay. So okay. So these He's going to hey, hey. Let let me talk. Okay. The standard cost for a uh, for a crown would be four million dollars. Uh, four billion. No. A million dollars. About a thousand U.S. For for oh, what? Thousand. For That's a what? Bad. That's cheap. Yeah. Now I'm getting it for half of that, so I'm getting That's a crown cheap. for five hundred. Oh wow! For a crown? That's very good. A I'm going to go to Dubai. A crown next here, even if it hurts, I'm going there. A crown <laughs> here. I could get an air. I could get an air flight. Get my crown come back and cheaper than it would be here. For me, a crown yeah. would be about fifteen hundred dollars. For me, What's it's cost wild, to so it's thirty five hundred dollars. Plus the root canal could be two grand. Cost me oh, the bucks. root canal could be easily two, two grand, twenty five hundred. Yeah. <coughs> so the, between the two, a for about fifteen hundred more, you can get a uh, uh, implant. Implant. Yeah. This is the. Funny I have two thing. implants right here. Yeah. yeah. This is the funny thing here. I went to three. This will give you a little bit of a viewpoint into Dubai life. Uh, last month I had an emergency. It was a Friday. Fridays everything is closed here. Mm -hmm. So the only place I could go to was a uh, European dental location that was near me. And so it's a Spanish woman who was trained in Germany. So she fixed the upper tooth. Then now a month later, the bottom tooth is bad. So I went back to her for a consultation. I went to another guy across the street. He is from Jordan, but trained in Vienna. And then I went to the Indian trained in Canada. So... You, you you really have to... Who trained you know, these guys? Your, Klaus Barbie? <laughs> you have to do your research here. And, you know, in the States, I would just go to my dentist. You know, I would have a dentist long term. I'm sure, Alex, you have a dentist you go to. And you would trust their opinion and they would do a good job. And, you know, and you wouldn't have to do this. But here, you really have to look around. The, the, the Jordanian Viennese gives 30% the, off. The Indian Canadian gives 50% off. The uh, the Spanish German, they they want insurance. They're used to getting insurance, so they charge full rate. You know, she did offer me ten percent off after she saw the other rates. But uh, it's it's very much a market economy, and you go where you know but after, where your no, research tells there, you. To there, go. There's no such thing as uh, when you talk about dental insurance. It's really not dental insurance. It's dental assistance. <clears throat> Because yeah. because it, it they only pay most of these plans only pay upwards to fifteen hundred dollars and mine with after I think is twenty five hundred believe it or not uh, is that a fifty fifty match well you pay it's like they pay fifty percent of a crown and they'll pay uh, they pay a hundred percent of cleaning 
you know, yeah. things like that. So, Hey, Bree, just stay away from the Polish and the Italian trained dentists. Well, here, here's what I don't get. Here's what I don't get. And the, and the really. English, because okay. they have hold, bad hold teeth. On. Oh, yeah, and hold, the French. Hold don't on, go to a French I, dentist. Here's what I, don't, <laughs> what, I, what, I, what I don't get is we talk about universal health care. We talk about health care for all. We talk about uh, affordable health care. But we never talk about dental care for all yeah. or health care or, or, right or, 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 or yeah. you know, affordable I dental care. Where's AOC on this? And the you know, reason she, why I think you need it is if you've got somebody who's missing a front tooth and he can't afford to have it fixed, okay, do you think he's going to get a job? You know, he's going to go for the interview. Right. He's going to be missing the tooth, and he's immediately not going to get the job. Right. <clears throat> Were those implants or veneers? Oh, Alex uh, just asked a question. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I just I asked, asked a question and you, the <laughs> and you changed the whole subject. No, Alex, yeah. I don't think he'll get a job. <laughs> no, they are implants. Job. These are two are implants. Yeah. These are veneers. Name. These are veneers. veneers. These are crowns. Mm -hmm. crowns. Uh, name, name one politician who has ever said that. Universal dental care. You know what I mean? Well, I, I vote for them but, tomorrow. But, but, and, I and, vote for them a thousand and times. And by the way, as a, as a health thing, it's also a matter of he good health too, because you have yes. bad teeth, and you can you can die from bad teeth. Yeah, yeah. look at Tony. Tony had the uh, uh, make uh, crooked teeth. Yeah. I had to snag him. He said, "Phil, it was a bad one." It was actually funny, really. <laughs> no, you're yeah, yeah. You're, you know, I Tony's think... teeth were unhealthy, uh, and then he yeah. got them fixed with the invisible. Yeah, I read line. today. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let, let, let Bree talk. I read in the newspaper today gum disease. Tied to Alzheimer's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, but you can read it. It's in the news today. Yeah. Uh, and, and tooth problems can cause a lot of different things. It, it, heart it, disease. All I'm heart saying disease. yeah, heart disease. So, yeah. so yeah, I yeah, really think we need to talk about dental care as well. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, more even maybe. What the hell? It, right. It's, it's which, preventable. Which Just obviously, obviously, and, and obviously oh, they don't yeah, have it. Honestly. Obviously they don't have I it do. in England. You know, oh, I swear I take good care of my teeth, and this still happens. You know? yeah. Oh, you why, do, why do Republicans always think the same way? It's like I just flash and brush. <laughs> I mean, it's all he's like. I knew you were going to say that. It's like I knew. Well, <laughs> it is until we get a situation like this. Yeah, yeah. With Republicans, you, use you know, a water pick. It has to happen to you. It's a water it pick. You know, according water according according to Phil, there's no such thing as people who are living from paycheck to paycheck who who aren't good at saving. You know. Yeah, you just got to save some of the paycheck. Yeah. What what part? The part. The it, part it, that it, you don't spend on cigarettes. Uh, who's and you, marijuana? Oh yeah, all these people are living paycheck to paycheck. As they're living pay, right. Scott, they're living paycheck every to paycheck hey, because they're every because they're, morning. Every morning I get off at the same exit. Every morning there's somebody there with a sign uh, that you know needs money for food and uh, has is smoking like a fiend. You know, if it's eleven bucks or thirteen bucks a pack, I don't think he needs money for food. He needs money for cigarettes, and his teeth don't look that good either. Yeah, but aren't there some people it's who so have those scary. signs who aren't smoking, what? Phil? Mm -hmm. Aren't it's there so some of those people who aren't no, smoking? No, they, they all smoke. They all smoke. Oh, yeah. Guys. Yeah. Okay. oh yeah, every one of them. They're every one of them. Every yeah. single one of them smoke. Yeah. And the actors, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, actors don't smoke as like they used to anymore. Yeah. I used to hate that. It used to be like up until about 20 years ago, every actor smoked. And sometimes they still do. I can't stand it. And once one starts, everyone starts smoking like they all want to be part of the group. Yeah, well, I, uh, I I don't understand why people still smoke. It, it, it I just can't wrap my head around it. I, when I would go to the dentist uh, that I'm going to today at 12 noon, uh, along the he's counting the hours. He's counting, I'm counting the hours. hours. God, I, uh, I had a dentist in Singapore who I ended up really loving because he would do stuff and I wouldn't feel anything, but. Then the dentist I had the other last month, I could feel stuff. So I don't know. It depends on who you go to. Well, I'll tell hey, you. I'm from, telling you, go to an endodontist. I'll, I'll I'm tell you, you. One of the biggest, one of the well, biggest, one of the biggest things that happened to me yeah. was when I suddenly went started going to a dentist 
who uh, in the in the in the seventies and then into the eighties and nineties uh, uh, gave you gas. And I'm yeah. telling you, once they give you gas, they could pull every tooth out of your mouth, <laughs> and you wouldn't give a shit. You know, you don't care. <laughs> Go ahead, I used to. yank them all. I no, Phil, Phil, no, Phil, no, yes, no, Phil, let me when they clean my Phil, teeth. Phil, Phil, you don't have to have a comment on everything. Yes, I yes, do. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> He's jealous of you yes, getting. Yes, I do. He's the idea man. Yeah, they have an endodontist. Uh, no, but I mean, when it came to uh, Ishmael, there you go, Bree. Uh, go to him. Uh, 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 oh, oh, she's like, her. She's oh, look hey, it. wait a minute. Shoot, wait, Bri, a you minute. gotta go to her. She, that's my dentist. That's your dentist. No, go to the endodontist. Yeah. How do you go to your dentist and have her work on your mouth without getting a hard on? For Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, stop. you don't. You just get the heart on. Hell, she could pull every tooth out of my mouth, and I'd say thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, right, right. Uh, there's, there's. It looks like they've got a new dentist from Greece. Ooh, uh, you don't want a Greek dentist. dentist. <laughs> oh, they go in through the where, rear. Where, where do you get dentists like this? <laughs> Where do you get these these good-looking, hot dentists? Damn. (laughs) God. I mean, it's not making me feel any better. I have a female dentist, but she don't look anything like that, I'll tell you. So that's your dentist. Wow. So they do have an endodontist, so that's who I'll talk to if I need the root canal, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I would, yeah, yeah, I would. Now you would think they also have a homeopathic practitioner. No, now that I like. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Wait a minute, Tony. <laughs> They'll give Tony? you a shot of whiskey. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut you short because she's calling. I'm Dubai. She's calling. Okay, wave she Dubai to, to him. Uh, wave. I, I, to I can tell you. Goodbye, Tony. No, no whiskey in Dubai. Yeah. I, I can tell you one other funny thing. Uh, when I was doing research for this uh, and getting the prices, mm-hmm. uh, I had one online where it said, they said, do you want to do it in Dubai or India? And I'm like, well, Dubai, that's where, that's where I live. I don't want to have to go get a visa and go to India. But it turns out it was like, uh, let me look up the price. To go to India to get the crown, or, in, or it's either a crown or an implant. I have to look this up. Uh, I can tell you the price here. Hold on. If if I were willing to fly to India, the crown is about three hundred and ninety dollars. Yeah, but the uh, flight the how po- much the flight could, how much is the flight gonna cost you? And you can get a sale on a flight for hundred, two hundred bucks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hey Bree, how much does it cost to fly from the from like San Francisco to Dubai? It varies, you know, depending on if you're gonna get a uh, like a bought a ticket air. way in advance. Um Maybe uh, eight hundred bucks. Okay, I can fly to Dubai, get my thing for five hundred bucks, come back. I still would save three thousand dollars over getting it in Palo Alto. <laughs> Next time I need a crown, I'm going to and Dubai. Plus, <laughs> you, no and plus, while she's working on you, you can get a boner. Exactly. <laughs> People go to Mexico and Thailand and all of these places. I'm never going to, here to get actually, medical. Yeah. Alex, I, I have to tell you something. They don't put their photos on the website. But really, the ones that you would like to see are the receptionists. Uh, really? Yes. The receptionists, yeah. it's, like, it's like they come in and it's like, the, you know, do you want a job here? And the first box is, are you incredibly hot? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're hired. I got it there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And mostly they're from uh, Southeast Asia. They're mostly Filipinos. Oh, um, mostly Filipinos. Yeah, because they speak oh, they're English. they're nice, too, then. They're so sweet, yeah. too. Oh, Jesus. Well, well, well yeah, Bill the, knows the all about that. The receptionist's name is Sheila. Hey, I got one that's been... Sweetheart. I've got one that's been putting up with me for 13 years. How come we ever <laughs> never yeah. seen her, Phil? What's the deal uh, with that? She brings because, me because, because she's his imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he hides her. He has no... Phil, in- do you really it, think you should be going out with it, someone who doesn't have white skin? It, Oh, she's, 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 she goes out with you? Yeah, she lives with me. <laughs> she lives with Wow. Yeah. Phil, what are you packing? 13 years. Uh, not mu- I'm not packing that much anymore. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so she might not be living with you talking, very much longer. We were talking earlier packing about Packing a big coffee. wallet. <laughs> exactly. Arabic coffee with dates. She's packing lots of carpet dough. Ice cream. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, ice cream. Wow. Well. Girlfriends. Wait a minute. Let me show you. 
That's an interesting flavor, right? Here we go. Yeah. Um, I don't drink coffee, so uh, I can't do it. Can you see that? This one is interesting. Uh, uh, no, I got to make it bigger. Yeah. That's that's Marjorie a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, you have had some of the most beautiful women. Yeah, no uh, uh, be- between uh, you know, uh, Susan was gorgeous yeah. and uh, who was uh, Susan, nice and right, and uh, who was the uh, one that I met in your apartment uh, that was staying at a blonde? Phil, uh, Phil, hold yeah. on. Who did you what? say? Who, um, let me put my earphones on because I can't hear you. Who did you say was gorgeous? Susan. Susan. Oh, Susan was was amazing in her day. Yeah, she looked like Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, she was. Oh, yeah. I she remember gorgeous. her, and she was funny too. Alex. Yeah. Do you want to see some of the women who randomly message me from around here? Jesus, man, what are you? <clears throat> what do they want to sell you a tooth? Uh, no, they want to do other things. Ah, oh, oh wow. well. Do they have those kinds of things in Dubai, or do they get arrested? No, they do, they don't. Uh, it must be a uh, rip in the space time continuum. So the <laughs> that nice. Well, uh, the you know the the problem you, problem is I I get things on Facebook. My problem is if I go under my five thousand. Uh, I immediately go out and ask people to join because if it goes under 5,000, I start getting endless numbers of, yeah, stuff like that. But that not, might not be real. Oh, uh, you know, that could it's be some real. guy in prison trying to extort money. In that case, that is a guy. Yeah. And, and they are real. Huh. Is that a girly boy? Yeah. yeah, that's what Schwarzenegger said. So I get these messages that just Very pop much. into my feed. Why do yeah. they feel that you are a potential customer for them? Well, probably because I'm 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 white, you know, yeah. and I have my I'm a, my real name and photo there, so I'm not you know anonymous. And, and, and you kind of like Sean Connery. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm kidding. Oh, see, there's. I have an actual. Hmm. There's a real. There you go. Where? That was an actual person. What? What? What picture? Oh, there was a wife behind me. Oh, wife behind you. Oh, real life person. I'm talking too loud. Oh. I talk and talk. All I do is talk constantly. How long have you been married, Ray? Uh, let's see, uh, 23, 24 years. Wow. I can't find any more. I deleted them. My last one. My last one kicked me to the curb at 23 years. Oh, yeah. Really, you were married twenty-three well, years before she got yeah. smart enough to get rid of you. Yeah, yeah. Wise. Here we well, go. Mike, uh, and how, now here, 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 you want to talk about length? Uh, and we're not talking about size here. We're talking about years. Uh, Scott, how many years have you been married? Oh, there's a pussy. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine years. Well, you weren't yeah, married he, before then, were you? No. No. So it's your only marriage. And there's Thank some you. real pussy. Who is that? <laughs> this is I call him Morris. He every time I walk to the metro, he's sleeping on one of the cars, and I'll take him some chicken or some treats. Oh, okay. So he kind of lives and in he, the he kind of lives in the complex, keep him warm on cars. Yeah. yeah, he sleeps on the cars. He meows. He'll let he say, he says hello to me. He yeah. recognizes me now, and he'll meow and say, you know, you got any food for me or something. Yeah. Uh, He's a worthless, homeless cat who doesn't deserve to live. <laughs> well, thank with you. Now, no, you. Now you're sounding like no Phil. no dental insurance. He yeah, brushes right. his glasses. He probably he smokes. Dental. By the Smoking way, we were talking dental. earlier about marijuana. If I can throw something in here uh, about marijuana. Uh, oh, here's and, something funny. And uh, CBS has rejected an attempt by a multi-state yep. cannabis company to run an ad during the Super Bowl calling for the legalization of medical marijuana. Uh, it's Acreage Holdings, which is backed by John Boehner, not right. the, the John Boehner. Uh, yeah. so, oh, no, it, oh, is, it, is, the, the, it is the John Boehner, yes. <laughs> says the network turned down its request after seeing a rough outline of the proposed spot. While medical marijuana is now illegal in more than 30 states, the federal prohibition on cannabis has restricted research and made it difficult for some potential patients to get their hands on the drug that proponents say will help treat seizures, pain, and other ailments. Um, The report quotes Acreage President George Allen saying the commercial aimed to create an advocacy campaign for constituents who are being lost in the dialogue. 
In a telephone interview, Allen is quoted as saying, it's hard to compete with the amount of attention something gets when it airs on the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, scheduled for uh, February 3rd, will feature Los Angeles Rams, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it, it, they, they will not sell them uh, 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 time to run an ad proposing that all states legalize medical marijuana. Uh, yet this is the same organization that is taking endless numbers of ads for alcohol. Right. What a hypocrisy. And John Boehner is um, uh, a big proponent. He's got a investment group yeah. that he's leading, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was going to do the commercial, and the tagline was, it's so good it makes me cry. <laughs> John Boehner. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Phil. Oh, uh, oh it, yeah, he's a crier. Yeah, 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 get it? He Because he cried. Remember that? Yeah, Remember yeah. the whole thing? Not Remember that, man. Brian, when he cried? <laughs> Wimpy man, it, that's terrible very funny. Guy. Uh, wait a minute. Let's uh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, on the yeah, count yeah. of three, everybody laugh. One, two, three. No, cry. There's the cat oh, on the hood. Morris. Is that like the elf on the shelf? Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, when it's 140 degrees we'll see in on Dubai, the hood. when it's really hot in Dubai, does the cat still get on the hood? We'll see the hood. I don't know about that. I don't think so. Here is a finally you know. here is a smart decision that was made. Uh, Sports Illustrated has their swimsuit issue, <laughs> and every year it comes out um, uh, in I think the end of January. Could be probably to coincide with the Super Bowl and things like that. Well, they're holding it off now for four months. Because they finally decided it's stupid to run a swimsuit issue in the middle of winter. No, it's not. You don't get to see women in swimsuits in the middle of winter unless you're in Miami. You know. He said, now sports are as well as swimsuits are year-round sports, uh, noting that newsstand sales have been off in recent years, but it's not clear if it's because of the backlash against a magazine of scantily clad bikini beauties in the Me Too era. Do you think that's hurting People from buying the swimsuit issue because, oh, gee, now I respect women. I don't want to see them in bikinis. No, uh, I no, just think that uh, style. I, I think that the sales of magazines in general are off. Are uh, talking- in today's news, they were laying off, uh, uh, I think, 40 percent of BuzzFeed. Uh, Gannett, uh, 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 Gannett uh, laid off a whole bunch of their journalists. Uh, so what's happening is, is that media, that kind of media just isn't popular enough anymore. And, you well, know. we don't know. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is that I said last night, and, and uh, nobody could come up with a good answer for this, I don't see newsstands anymore. You know, the, the local... Except maybe at the airport. I think I saw one on like, like 42nd Street. I think I saw a newsstand, old-fashioned newsstand, but you very rarely see them. Yes, Brian. Are you were you alluding earlier to that uh, beach? I guess in the Middle East or something that was uh, not allowing women to wear bikinis anymore. No. Or are you talking? No, we're talking about oh, the South- Miss America uh, or Miss Universe. No more bikinis. Yeah. Uh, they were they stopping the swimsuit thing. Because I saw something similar on Facebook. Some in the some, of course, being Muslim majority and whatnot. And uh, it was a snarky meme, though. It said, okay, and it had this picture of this naked woman with her bikini off and, you know, her top off, and she's laying there. She's like a young thing, and she's looking at the camera, and you see her say below. So you said no bikinis, huh? How does this wait, 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 what, what are all these pictures you're putting up here? Because we have no idea oh, what they are. It's a travel log. Yeah, I'm just showing you around my It's gelato. Around my, around my office. Oh, That's uh, the gelato. Twisty Tower. Yeah. Okay. Keep, tower. keep going ahead, Brian. I just didn't want to. Oh, that was it. That was basically it. I thought you were talking, I, I don't about, you were talking story, about this America. But, uh, no, no. But I mean, while we're at it, I mean, I don't know that I was ever that fond of the Miss America pageant with its uh, bathing suit competition. I could care less. I like the bathing suits. Uh, well, I didn't like the bathing suits because they were all like one piece bathing suits. And uh, I wanted something a little more. You know, less. Yeah. Uh, a little less. Didn't you wear a one piece, Alex, when you were uh, swimming? Yeah, all the time. I went topless. Yeah. Back uh, in 1925? Uh, yeah, really. The, the striped ones? 
Yeah. The striped yeah. ones. Yeah. I, remember the one, one piece ones guys wore? Why were they, why do they do that? And they're always striped. Striped. Yeah. 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 No. What? I don't know, man. It was weird. And they were like wool. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we just got this message in. Trump says he'll postpone the State of the Union speech until the government shutdown is over. Wow. Oh. Who gave him that idea? We could be waiting until spring, at least. I, w I wonder what he's going to do to Pelosi next. First, he pulls him off the plane. Uh, now, uh, she she retaliates by uh, saying that she doesn't want him to do the State of the oh, Union. No, the State of what the do Union. You think Wait, Trump the State is going of the State of the Union came first. Uh, yes. Oh, it, it, did, oh, it yeah. did? Yes, oh, it okay. did. Yeah. Well, then maybe Trump was retaliating for that. He was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, well, we'll it's see. Tit this for tit tit for but tat. I love, I love what he said. At one point, he said, "Well, I'm going to show up to give it anyway." <laughs> what? what, what, what? He's, he does it from that? the Oval Office. He's a gate crasher. You know, I mean, what is this? The guy is like, he's acting like a petulant <laughs> child now. It's getting ridiculous. Wait, and, and, and Pelosi is it? No, Pelosi is Pel Oh, come on. No. Oh, come on, Alex. You're blind. Clothes. Blind to what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, I'm blind to what's happening. I agree with Phil 100%. What? <laughs> I agree with everything <laughs> Phil says. <now. laughs> it's my new... I've turned... I've, he, I see the light. I, I Was there drugs in that sandwich I gave you? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It worked, man. I'm on your side, brother. Oh yeah. boy! Yeah, no. I'm looking at Dubai receptionist pictures. Damn! Oh what, really? Wait a minute. Yeah. What, where did you find Dubai receptionist pictures? I just googled D Dubai receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you hold on a second? Hey, a now Alex is going to lose Dubai viewership because everybody's going to be going to Dubai receptionist. <laughs> Dubai receptionist. Can you put it up on the screen? Well, receptionist uh, photos in yeah. Dubai. Front desk receptionist jobs in Dubai. It's just receptionist No, I look jobs. under images. Oh, look under images? Yeah. F fuck. <laughs> Apparently there's no Me Too over there, huh? Well, wait a minute. There's a woman here that looks like Glenn Close. I don't know if that uh, counts. Uh... <laughs> hey, if you touch one of them in Dubai, they chop your arms off. Yeah, that's that's what happens, Phil. Yeah. Anyway. Or, or your penis. Uh, wow. Oh, there we go. There are some, there are some of the... Uh, <laughs> But those are models they hire for the ads, okay? Yeah. You know. That's all fake news. Yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, How come they have mustaches? Session. Well, you know, they're Arabs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all no. Arabs have mustaches. They got unibrows, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. unibrow. Yeah. They pluck uh, them, though, usually. And uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, oh. What, uh, yeah, she would be very... There's a couple here that are like... Yeah, that, that's very... I'll show you one that, like... My image of like every single one of them. Yeah. That's there the you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's like the standard. If you fit that standard, you got the job. Weinstein. Uh -huh. but by the way, Harvey Weinstein got rid of his old lawyers, and he's hired new ones. He hired four lawyers, including. Ready? Mr. Ready? Turtle? The, no. Here, here, here is here is the name Jose Baez. Do you remember Jose Baez? Yeah, he no. ran the elevator for uh, uh, Danny Thomas. No, no. Jose <laughs> <laughs> right? Jimenez. Do you remember She's Jose Baez? Hey, Jimenez. No. He, huh? There you She's go. Looking. There looking. you she'll go. go. She'll find. She'll find one. Yeah. She oh yeah. The, yeah. Oh yeah. I, yeah. Oh yeah. Look at oh, that yeah. little doll face. Anyway, <laughs> can I can I just mention who? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! I I'm helping somebody get a job, Alex. Yeah, Jose Baez. Do you remember what Jose Baez was? Does the name sound familiar? Joan Baez's cousin. Joan Baez's cousin. Think Casey Anthony. Casey Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. His uh -huh. attorney, also a former sports star, <clears throat> uh, another lawyer for Aaron Hernandez, another one for Kobe Bryant, and in a strange twist, one of Weinstein's own Hollywood accusers. Uh, two of the attorneys, Jose Baez and Ronald Sullivan, represented actress Rose McGowan last year in a Virginia that in that Virginia drug case. And pleaded no contest last week and was among the first of dozens of women who came forward to accuse Weinstein of sexual assault. So he's he's getting some interesting lawyers in his Her case. Got thrown out, Rose McGowan. Yes, courtesy of these lawyers. Yeah. 
and now they're working for uh, Weinstein. You would think that'd be a conflict of interest. Not really. Uh, not at this point. Not Weinstein. at this point because they're not dealing with her uh, cases. She didn't have a case against Weinstein. Well, I had to sue him. somebody once uh, over a house deal, and uh, I, finding an attorney that uh, hadn't worked for this uh, particular uh, company was was uh, really hard. She's claiming uh, it's a conflict of interest, but it really isn't. Because uh, they were no, I think it is. No, they were representing her in a criminal case. They weren't representing her in a case against Weinstein or for any of this Me Too stuff. Isn't this criminal? This uh, Weinstein one? Yes, this is a criminal case. Yeah. 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 And and she was the accuser. So how no, could no, they no, no, no. How could she they was she was one of the accusers of Weinstein, but she never right. filed charges against him or anything. Then she went out and got arrested, I think, in a drug bust or something in South Carolina. I just threw the article away. How, how could she have not filed anything if her case got thrown out? Her case didn't get thrown out. The case that got you aren't listening. The case that got yeah. thrown out was the drug case, Phil. No, Rose McGowan. Uh, the, no. Uh, no. No. Uh, oh, is that, was that Ashley Judge? Oh, yeah. Judd. Judd. Judd? All right. <laughs> Judd. Uh, I knew somebody got thrown out. Oh, Bill wants to put her on the Supreme Court. Yes. <laughs> Let me read this again to you. Rose McGowan last year in a Virginia drug case. McGowan pleaded no contest last week and was among the first of a dozen women who came forward originally to accuse Weinstein. But it doesn't make a conflict of interest because they weren't dealing with right. her no, no, against no. Weinstein. I, 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 I made a mistake. I uh, Ashley yeah, Judd be, was the uh, was the uh, McGowan. Well, it, it, one of many mistakes, Phil. And no extra charge. Everybody, have a drink. Have a uh, drink. Take a drink. Have a, have two or three or four. You know. Uh, L'chaim. The L'chaim. This poor boy can only afford it. So what have we learned tonight, folks? Anything? My camera doesn't work. If you uh, want a reception, we learned I'm buy. afraid of dentists. Yeah, we, we, uh, he's afraid of dentists, and look at who he's going to. I learned I'm going to Dubai for all my future dental work. Yes. <clears throat> right. Wait a minute. It's H- going to be cheaper and more fun. What's H and H? You keep holding Even stuff the M&Ms up. Even are cheaper That's- here. That's something that Tony would send you. Is H that, and H. It, it's, what is that? <laughs> uh, M and M's. What? Well, no, H and H bagels in New York Instead City. Instead of M and M, it's H and H. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hell and hell. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I guess we've learned absolutely nothing tonight. Uh, yeah. and, and Why it, is this night different than all other nights? Look at Scott. I may not be able to look speak how, tomorrow. Look how quiet Scott's been tonight. I'll be like this the whole time. Say something, Scott. Yeah. He's always quiet. And Brian, too. Yeah, Brian's been unusually I'll, quiet tonight. I'll wait for Jack to say something. Yeah, but Brian, there, could you say something a, really disgusting? Edgewise. There was no no scum sucking yeah. anything that he could talk about tonight. So, you know. Shit. Anyway, th- there's the theme song. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> I love it. You know, Bree has nothing but visuals he puts on the screen. Cats on hoods and kittens know, on Bree's mittens. Like... And... Yeah, I wasn't able to tell anybody to go fuck themselves and spoon it in of a two-by-four tonight. So yeah, okay, guess... well, to- ah, there's, a- there's yeah, always like tomorrow that. night, Brian. Thank you, Phil Meyer, for being with us tonight. Kevin, thank you for joining us. I didn't want to disappoint Ray. Uh, thanks, thanks to Tony thanks, for having Ray. been here, Brian. Uh, uh, Scott, thank you. Uh, Ray Renati, thank you. And Debris in Dubai, thank you so much. Will everybody give a big wave goodbye to our audience out there? Yeah, there they go, folks. That's what it's all about. Uh, and uh, let me hang up on them and turn off the line so that Jack Bishop can use them next on the intersection, which is next right o- after us. Tomorrow night, uh, it'll be a Damien. Uh, with the exchange at 9.30 and then back again here at 10 o'clock tomorrow night uh, will be moi. Uh, uh, Yeah, with uh, the ramble. Uh, Same time, same station in life and as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And to break a leg.